Hey everybody, this is Brandon from better at everything.info. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the better at everything drawing template. I'm going to show you a few of the features and how to use it. So as you can see, I've got a blank AutoCAD document here. Uh, from now on, if you're using the drawing template from me, you're going to want to start a new drawing by clicking up here with the blank page. And it's going to bring up the template menu. I've already got the BAE template uh, copied to my template folder, which if you bring down this drop down here on Windows 7, it's under Users, Home, App Data, Local, Autodesk, and then AutoCAD 2012, R18.2, and then ENU, and then this one here is Templates. And you can just save the .dwt in that folder. You can also save it anywhere else you'd like, and then you just have to navigate to it when you select a new template. So we're going to start by selecting the template. It's going to open up a preset up drawing for us. Now the nice thing with using a drawing template is it saves doing redundant things. So in this one, the one you can get from my website, I've got four uh, layout tabs set up. We've got 11 by 17 portrait, 11 by 17 landscape, 8.5 by 11 portrait, and 8.5 by 11 landscape. This should get you started for most uh, freelance projects since typically you're not doing uh, full size sheets for uh, small plans and design stuff. And if you are, you can always modify any of these templates uh, pretty easily, and I can show you that in another video if you'd like. So, a few of the features quickly uh, each, each layout tab has a separate template or a title block that I've made. They're uh, pretty easy to use. You simply double click or type in ED for edit, enter, and then select the text you want to uh, modify. The uh, drawing name and uh, dates and stuff are all done with attributes, so you can double click anywhere and it asks you what you want to put into each one. So the CAD date, that would be the day you're drawing uh, the check, that would be the initials of the of the check person, um, and so forth and so on. Uh, job number, file number, scale, all that kind of stuff. Up here, you've got your insert your logo area. I've just put this text in here. You can delete it and uh, insert your your company or your uh, your personal name. Uh, whatever you want there. Um, over here we've got a pre-inserted scale bar that's dynamic so you simply click the scale bar click this down arrow and there's all the options for scales you've got. There's a ton of options here. So right now I've got the viewport which comes preset up right here. Double click it to move around your drawing. Double click outside to close it. Right now it's set at uh, just a 1.0 scale, which you can check by right clicking on it and going to quick properties and you can see custom scale is just one. So that works out to a one to a thousand. That's why I've got the scale set up for you. Over here we've got a basic north arrow that I use that comes pre uh, set up for you. And then up here are the uh, revision uh, edits. So to change these it's like the other one. Simply double click and there you go. Pretty straightforward. As you go down the list, you go up on the revisions list. So if you change the first one, that'll change the review. Then there's the check, the CAD drawer, the description. So here you could put something like uh, issued for tender, issued for review, issued in draft, whatever you want. Or you can just leave these blank. You can also just remove them by uh, editing the block. So you click on it, right click and go into your block editor and just delete this section. Um, each of these is set up for uh, the page size already and to print to extents. And you've got in each one you've got the same scale bar that's all dynamic. The north arrow and the title block. And the title block is pretty much the same throughout all of them. Uh, it's scaled a little differently depending on the page but it should look the same on every single one. So there you have it. Uh, it's a quick rundown of the features and how to use the drawing template. 
Uh, as always, if you have any questions, just ask me.